Up next, Russ and I are going to talk about a Texas chainsaw massacre. And if you enjoy being hung on a meat cleaver while still alive, click subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre out March 25th on 4K Ultra HD from Turbine in nearly its 50th anniversary. So this is arriving in a three disc set offered in four different covers. Each is a limited steel book with a different slip case that goes over the top. So you're going to have this steel book here that gets this different slip that goes over top. Uh, that's cool. One of these is like the original art. One's maybe more of like a newer illustration. So you get to decide, you know, which one you want. Also previously released by Turbine in a very similar way. And Second Sight's also releasing this later in the year. But this one it's here has Dolby Vision, HDR, and Atmos. It's got four audio commentaries by cast, director, cameraman, editor, and sound engineer. Two documentaries, a tour of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house with Gunnar Hansen, remove scenes and outtakes, a 60-page booklet, a 40th anniversary trailer as well. And that's a two Blu-ray set with a 4K disc. And this release does have a lot, but I will say, just looking back, there's some 40th anniversary release that came yes. out that has a I ton more. Now, it's I not 4K. It. This transfer is not good. Oh, is compared that right? to other release, I bought this. Yeah, and yeah, the transfer compared to other because this is a title that gets so many goddamn releases. I like the packaging, as you said, the features were bomb. And then when I did a little bit of research, I was like, yeah, that was probably the worst one to pick up as far as the actual movie goes. You damn fool! Just this release in general, like this booklet looks really nice. All yeah. the, I love, I love this Germany Dude, like slipcase option. Uh, I stuff. mean. The, the, how many features you could put together for this film? I, there are more than one feature length documentaries that were made on this movie. The first three are solid, solid, solid. The second one is great. It's nothing like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre two is like evil dead Two, gremlins Two. It's one of those movies where they just went in a complete different direction. It's more colorful and yeah. comedic. So where the cover art is like it's like a the weird breakfast family club. it's like a weird yeah family photo is that two that's is that two one? okay it's a parody of the breakfast club now that you said cover. that i only remember seeing that as a kid and being and that weirded out awesome. by it you gotta think in 1974 this felt and it still does feel this way it feels like you're watching found footage yeah it's just grimy yeah dirty you know there was nothing like there was nothing that real before it it's yeah. landmark it's the sunny the texas the sweat the shade like the grittiness of it like it's got a menace to it you feel like you're there yeah. it just and you don't recognize anybody it doesn't feel like a movie while. it doesn't feel like a movie no for the low budget for how real it's still a great film and for a film from 1974 where nothing like it before had ever existed yeah i mean this was it's landmark it's a landmark horror film like well, you know what's brilliant about this movie, and uh, they lean into it heavier on the sequels, is that Leatherface is sympathetic. Mm -hmm. He's basically... He's like Sloth from Goonies, right? Yeah. He's like a captive, but, but he he's like... Kill. Yeah, 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 but he's messed up. And his family fucks with him. Yeah. He's the outcast even of his own family, you know what yeah. I mean? Where they're all psychos. But it also brings more of a menace, because you're like, he's crazy. I don't know what, what he's running, chasing after her at the end yeah. of the movie. You don't know. Like, this, he could be helping her, he could be killing her. Like, right. I... This, FYI, has been announced by Second Sight for release this year also, 4K. And Second Sight's the guest. The guest, and, oh. yep, and the witch. And they're a UK company. Now, this looks incredible. I'm not going to lie. But the I want that, Second I want that Sight. rigid slip for my TCM. Yeah, I know. So we'll see what that looks like when that finally gets you know announced and details are shown. But this is a nice-looking release, especially if you're a Steelbook fan, because this is a Steelbook release, which theirs probably will not be. I love this trend um, of Steelbooks with slipcases. It's nice. I love it. It's also nice for protection. Yeah. I mean, keep me protected, baby. Coming out again March 25th, limited to 550 per slip, it looks like. Yeah. Will I end up getting this? We don't know. 